Good morning to you all and God bless you. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you all in the name of Jesus. Good morning and God bless you. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. May the grace of the Lord be upon you. May God show you endless mercy in the name of Jesus. For indeed, he's a God that answers prayer. For indeed, there is no God like him. For indeed, he's the Alpha, he's the Omega. He's the God that knows and sees it all. May his name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Good morning to you all and God bless you in Jesus' name. Today we're asking the Lord to give us an evidence, evidence of his goodness. Give us an evidence. He's a God that gives evidence. Oh yes, he does. There is no way he comes into your life and he goes out without an evidence. A visible one that everyone around you will see. And know indeed that God answers prayer. Today we ask him to give us an evidence. The plans that we have concerning our lives will work out. I know each and every one of us has a plan. Even if you don't have, you have for your children. The plans that we have must surely come to pass the plans that we have will not be cut short will not be destroyed it will not stop on the way it will surely come to pass in the name of jesus amen and amen good morning to you all and god bless you in jesus name amen we're going to sing praises to god before we begin today's prayer in the name of jesus amen Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you come from heaven above. The Holy Spirit of God is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you come from heaven. Heaven above, the Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, God. I will enter His gates with thanksgiving in my hands. I will enter His courts with praises of joy. And I will say, this is the day that the Lord has been. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my hands. I will enter his court with praises of joy. And I will say, 
This is the day that the Lord has made. Has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, the Lord has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me. I am so glad, so, so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. Oh, I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Lord, I give you praise. Thank you, 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 Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Lord, I give you praise. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. Oh, how excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh, how excellent is your name. Oh, Lord. Lord, how excellent is your name. Lord, how excellent is your name. Oh, how excellent is your name. Oh, Lord. Oh, how excellent. How excellent is your name. Oh, Lord. How excellent. How excellent is your name. Oh, Lord. Oh, how excellent. How excellent is your name. Oh, how excellent is your name. Oh, how beautiful is your name. Lord, how powerful is your name. Oh, Lord, how gracious is your name. Oh, Lord, how excellent is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh, Lord. Oh, how excellent. How excellent is your name. Oh, Lord, how beautiful. How beautiful is your name. Oh, Lord. Oh, how powerful, how powerful is your name. How amazing is your name. How excellent is your name. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, my God, how excellent is your name. Oh, how excellent is your name. Oh, how excellent is your name. Oh, Lord, worthy, Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, worthy. Oh, you are worthy, you are worthy, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. I worship you. I say, worthy, 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 worthy. You are worthy, you are worthy, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. You are worthy. You are worthy, you are worthy, 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 you are worthy, you are worthy, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, I worship you, ancients of this, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never feel, you can never feel, ancients of this, as old as you are, as old as you are. Oh, that's you are, as old as you are, you will never feel. I say, ancient of days, as old as you are, Lord, as old as you are, you will never fail, you can never fail. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are. As old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. You can never feel ancient of days. As old as you, as old as you are, as old as you, as old as you are, you will never feel. You can never change ancient of days. As old as you are, as old as you are. As old as you are, you will never fail. Covenant keeping God, 
There is no one like you. Oh, I found Omega. Oh Lord, there is no one like you at all. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Oh, I found Omega. Jesus, there is no one like you. I say covenant keeping God. Oh, there is no one like you. Beginning and the end. Lord, there is no one like you. I say your covenant keeping God. Oh, there is no one like you, no one. I found Omega. Jesus, there is no one like you. Oh, covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Ancients of the days. Oh, there is no one, there is no one like you, Lord. Covenant keeping God at all. There is no one like you. I found Omega, Emmanuel. There is no one like you. I love this man. I love the man of Galilee, of Galilee. He has done, done so very much, so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Spirit to me. I love this man. I love this man of the, oh, I say of Galilee. I love the man. I love the man of Galilee, of Galilee. He has done so very much, so very much for me. He has forgiven me all my sins and sent the Holy Spirit to me. I love this man. I love this man of oh God. Kelerem Chimo. Oh, Kelerem Chimo. Oh, Kelerem Chimo. Oh, Kelerem Chimo. Chimbe mena. Kelerem Chimo. Kelerem Chimo. Kelerem Chimo. Onye neme ma. Kelerem Chimo. Onye nasa me pere. Kelerem Chimo. I sing it, Kelerem Chimo, Oye ne buli melu, Kelerem Chimo, Oye na sepere, Kelerem Chimo, Oye ne bumpa, Kelerem Chimo, I sing it, Kelerem Chimo, 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 A Chimo me na, Kelerem Chimo, Oye na sepere, Kelerem Chimo, Oye ne buli melu. Kelerem chimo, oye ne ye mwa. Kelerem chimo, achimo. Asimu kelerem chimo, kelerem chimo, kelerem chimo, kelerem chimo, kelerem chimo, kelerem chimo, kelerem chimo. Asimu kelerem chimo, 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 achimo emela. We bring. The sacrifice of praise into the house, into the house of the Lord. I say we bring, we bring the sacrifice of praise. Oh, into the house, oh, into the house of the Lord, of the King of Kings. As we offer, offer unto thee, offer unto thee. A sacrifice, a sacrifice filled with thanksgiving as we offer, offer, offer unto the offer unto the oh, a sacrifice, a sacrifice filled with praise. I say, We bring a sacrifice of praise, sacrifice of praise into the house, into the house of the Lord. Oh, we bring a sacrifice of praise into the house, into the house of the Lord's sacrifice of praise. As we offer, offer unto the offer unto the oh, a sacrifice, a sacrifice filled with thanksgiving. As we offer, offer unto the offer unto the a sacrifice, a sacrifice filled with praise. Oh, we bring a sacrifice of praise, sacrifice of praise into the house, into the house of the Lord. 
I say we bring, we bring a sacrifice of prayers. Oh, into the house, into the house of the Lord. Sacrifice of praise as we offer unto thee, offer unto thee a sacrifice, a sacrifice filled with thanksgiving as we offer, offer unto thee, offer unto thee. Oh, a sacrifice, a sacrifice filled with praise. Oh, I lift your name higher. Oh, I lift your name higher. Lord, I lift your name higher. Lord, I lift your name. King of glory, I lift your name. Lion of Judah, I lift your name. Ancient of the desert, I lift your name. Oh Lord, I lift your name. My soon coming King, I lift your name. Oh Lord, oh Lord, I lift your name. Higher, Lord, I lift your name. <clears throat> Higher, Lord, I lift your name. Oh Lord, I lift your name. Higher, Lord, I lift your name. Higher, Lord, I lift your name. Higher, Lord, I lift you. I say, Lord, I lift your name. I lift your name. I lift your name. Higher, Lord, I lift your name. Higher, Lord, I lift your name. Oh, Lord, I lift your name. Higher, oh, I lift your name. Higher, oh, I lift your name. Higher, oh, I lift your name. Higher. Come and see, yes, sir. what the Lord has done for me. Come and see, come and see what the Lord has done for me. Oh, come and see, come and see what the Lord has done for me, done for me. If it were to be man, I would really be. <laughs> come and see, oh, what the Lord has done for me. Come and see, come and see. What the Lord has done for me, oh, come and see. What the Lord has done, done for me. If it were to be man, I will really pay. I say, if it were to be man, I will really pay. I will really pay. Oh, if it were to be man, I must surely pay. The Lord has done it. He has done it again, again and again. He has wiped my tears. He's wiped it away again. Oh, come and see, come and see. Oh, what the Lord has done for me, done for me. If it were to be man, I must surely pay. Oh, come and see, come and see, come and see. What the Lord has done for me, that is my testimony. Come and see, come and see. What the Lord has done for me, that is my testimony. Oh, come and see, hey! What the Lord has done, come and see, oh. If it were to be man, I would really be. Come and see. I say, come and see, come and see. What the Lord has done for me, that is my testimony. Come and see, come and see. What the King has done for me, come and see. Come and see, come and see. What Jehovah has done for me. Oh, if it were to be man, I will really pay. Oh, if it were to be man, I must surely pay. I will really pay. If it were to be man, I will truly pay. I will truly pay. If it were to be man, I will pay. I will pay. Oh, if it were to be man, I will really pay. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. That is my testimony. Come and see what the Lord has done for you. That is your testimony. Come and see oh, what the Lord has done for us. If it were to be man, I would really be. If man were to be God, if humans, you and I were to be God, you know when you give a human being a little power, you know how it is. Imagine them being in charge of everything.
thing on this earth. Imagine them being the creator. If man were to be God, half of the things we enjoy as humans, we won't get it. If man were to be God, we will not be alive today. But thank God, God is God. And your testimony today with an evidence, come and see what the Lord has done. You will call people far and near. Come, come and see. Come and see the creator. Come and see what he has done for me. And in the name of Jesus, that is your testimony. Amen. I want you to begin to exalt the name of the Lord. I want you to begin to magnify the name of the King of Kings. For indeed, he's a faithful God. For indeed, he's the Lord. He's the King of glory. For indeed, he's God all by himself. I want you to exalt his name. Thank him for all that he has done. He's not the man to lie. Thank him. He really deserves our thanksgiving for the things he has done. He has done so much for us and he's still going to do more. I want you to think back those situations that were difficult and he saw you through. You can't say that there has never been a time in your life that God saved you. You know those predicaments, those heavy situations that he came through for you. At some point in one's life, you must have experienced a heavy blockage. You must have experienced a heavy blockage. But God helped you. But God saved you. But God saw you through. Those days he pulled you out of danger. Those days he protected you. I want you to thank him. Exalt his holy name. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him for the things you have. Praise him because those things you have, there is someone looking for them. Someone may say, oh, if only I can stand on my, or stand on my feet. But you can stand on your feet. You can walk around. You can, you can even run. There are people whose legs have been hanged. They said, just one more time. If only I can walk with these two foot, these two, these two legs, just one more time, one more time. If only, but yet they didn't have that chance. There are people that are saying, if only I can live again. If only I can see the brightness of the day, but they didn't have that chance. God preserved us. There are so many things to be grateful for. So many things to thank him for, for every one thing he has done. For he will do it over and over again. He's a faithful God. No matter what men say, God is a faithful God. No matter what men say, no matter what people say, no matter what they say, no matter what they think, their opinion does not matter. God is God and God is supreme and God is good and he will show you his evidence. He will give you that evidence to know, for you to know that indeed he's a faithful God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, exalt his name. Thank him for all that he has done. Praise him for the things you feel, oh, these are not necessary. It is necessary because someone somewhere is looking for that same thing. You said, oh, you don't need. Lord, I bless your name. I give you all the praise. I exalt you, my king. Be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Come with me to the book of Genesis 26, verse 13. The book of Genesis 26, verse 13. The book of Genesis 26 verse 13 and i read it says the man began ah, amanda began to prosper it says the man began to prosper and did what and continued prospering until he became very prosperous until he became very prosperous i want you to speak that into your life with authority don't speak oh halfway don't speak like maybe you're thinking about it unless you don't believe in the word of god unless you don't believe that god can turn situations around if you truly from your heart believe that god can change situations i want you to use this scripture and speak into your life go ahead and call your name and say today i began i became prosperous in the name of Jesus, I began to be prosperous in everything I do, 
in everything I do, I began to be prosperous, meaning every door I knock at opens. You don't need to use force again. You don't need to struggle and struggle. Every time you're struggling without results, meaning life will now be easy for you. In the name of Jesus, I begin to prosper. I begin to prosper. I begin to prosper. I speak that into my life today and forever. I begin to prosper. I begin to prosper. I became prosperous. I became prosperous until I became very, very prosperous. By the authority established in the name of Jesus, I speak into my life. Starting from today, I begin to prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ, starting from today, Amanda, you begin to prosper. I speak that into my life. I decree that into my life. Starting from today, today. It is not tomorrow, it is today. I begin to prosper. I decree so shall it be. I begin to prosper. I command so shall it be. Starting from today, standing on the authority of God, I begin to prosper. I begin to prosper. I progress every day. I begin to prosper. So shall it be. I speak into my life by the authority in the name of Jesus and according to the word of God, by the power in the name of Jesus, because I am a child of God, because I'm made in the image and likeness, because I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus, I begin to prosper. I prosper in the name of Jesus. In everything I do, I prosper. In everything I do, I prosper. In everything I do, I prosper. I speak into my life today by the authority in the name of Jesus. I prosper. I prosper, 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 and I began to prosper, and I began to prosper. East, west, north, and south, I prosper, I prosper. East, west, north, and south, I prosper. I speak into my life, so shall it be. I speak into my life, so shall it be. I speak into my life, so shall it be. And I began to prosper. This is my confession, and it stays forever. This is my testimony, and it stays forever. This is my evidence, and it stays forever. And I begin to prosper in the name of Jesus, in the land of the living. When people complain of a casting down, I begin to to prosper when they say nothing is working i begin to prosper i speak that into my life by the authority in the name of jesus because i'm a child of god because i'm redeemed by the blood of jesus because i'm redeemed by the blood of jesus i begin to prosper i begin to prosper i begin to prosper everything i do it prospers everything i do it prospers everything i do is it prospers in the name of jesus from east west north and south i begin to prosper from east west north and south i begin to prosper from east west north and south i begin to prosper i begin to be a fruit i begin to be a fruit i be i be i became fruitful in the name of jesus i became very fruitful i became very fruitful in the name of jesus he says and it continued, meaning it will not stop. Meaning it will not stop. It's not something that stops. It's not something that is cut short. It's not something that has expiring dates. It's, he says, the Bible says, and it, it continued. I continued to progress. I continued to prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because I am a child of God, I continued to prosper. To prosper. I continued until I became very prosperous. Until I became extremely prosperous. Until I became powerfully prosperous. I speak that into my life. By the authority in the name of Jesus, because God has the final say, because he said and he would do it, I speak continuously into my life. I begin to prosper in the name of Jesus. Starting from today, no power brings me down. I begin to prosper. That light of prosperity continuously shines on me. That light of prosperity continuously shines on me. That light of prosperity continuously shines on me. 
in the name of Jesus, I began to prosper every day of my life, every single minute of my life, every hour of my life. I began to progress. I began to excel in the name of Jesus. I began to prosper, prosper in all I do, prosper everywhere I go. I began to prosper. Speak it into your life. I want you to speak it into your life continuously. Let it be a part of your declaration. Let it be a part of your life. It is the words that comes out of your mouth. And the Bible says, I will honor every word that you speak. So therefore, by the authority of the resurrected Jesus, and by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I speak into my life, and I declare today and forever, I prosper in the name of Jesus. I begin to prosper against all odds. I begin to prosper despite my environment. I begin to prosper despite the people around me. I begin to prosper despite the arrows of the enemies. I begin to prosper despite their wickedness. I begin to prosper despite the plots of darkness. I begin to prosper. I begin to prosper. I prosper effectively every day of my life, every second of my life. I prosper gloriously. I prosper forever. I prosper forever. I prosper forever. I prosper forever. Every day of my life, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prosper by fire. Against all odds, I prosper. And I, it continues happening until I became prosperous. It continued. It never stopped. It will never stop. It will never stop. It continued that prosperity that opened doors. It continued, it continued forever and ever. It continued forever and ever. It continued in the name of Jesus. It continued in the name of Jesus. That prosperity continued. That prosperity continued until I became very prosperous. This is my confession today. And in the name of Jesus, it is done. In the name of Jesus, it is sealed. In the name of Jesus, it is signed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Against all odds, you prosper. Against the wickedness of man. Against their arrows against their manipulation against their witchcraft power it doesn't have effect on you it will never have effect on you you see that word where, um, in um, in psalm 23 i prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies it will be your reality in the presence of those who are envious of you in the presence of those who said you will not succeed in the presence of those who said, oh, it won't happen. In their own eyes, their presence, they won't go anywhere. In their very presence, the Lord will prosper you. And the Bible recorded that it was, it continued. It is not something that stopped on the way. It continued. Continuous prosperous, continuous prosperity continuous prosperity he said the bible recorded and until what you become very progressive very prosperous very successful very 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 successful and so shall it be in the name of jesus he's not the son of man to lie god is not the son of man to repent today all throughout today I want you to declare it unto yourself in the name of Jesus. And I begin to progress. I begin to prosper. I begin to prosper. You see this word in Genesis 26, 13. I want it to be your everyday word. I want it to be the word you speak every day. And you do what? You begin to progress. You begin to prosper. 
against your enemies. You prosper. Your, your situation, your present environment will have nothing absolutely to do with that prosperity. You see, your present environment, even if you live in a place where nobody succeeds, even if you live in a place where nobody, nothing works, where nothing progresses, because you're a child of God, because you're redeemed by the blood of Jesus, your case will be different because in the eyes of your enemies, they will see you progress. Even if no one in your home has ever progressed, your case is different. With their eyes, they will see. Oh, they will see you progress. They will see you being blessed. They will see you being blessed. They will see you progressing every day of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come with me, to, amen. Come with me to the book of Acts of Apostle 20, um, Acts of Apostle 11, verse 23. Acts of Apostle 11, verse 23. Acts of Apostle, Acts of Apostle 11, 23, and I read, it says, When he arrived and saw this evidence of God's blessings. He began to what? He what? He was filled with joy. And he encouraged believers to stay through to the Lord. When he arrived and saw the evidence of God. The evidence of God in my life will be so visible that everyone around me will see it. The evidence of God in my career will be so visible. When there is an evidence in your life, even the blind man feels it. They may not see it, but within them, they feel, oh, something good has happened to this person. God has really visited this home. Something good has taken place in this family. Evidence which their eyes they will see. The evidence of God. Go ahead and ask for evidence of blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I need your evidence of blessing. I need your evidence of breakthrough. I need your evidence, evidence. Evidence of breakthrough. I need your evidence of progress. Lord, show me an evidence. In my life, give me this evidence. Give me this evidence of blessings. I desperately need this evidence. Evidence of blessings. Evidence of open doors. Evidence of success. Evidence of success. Give me this evidence, Lord. Evidence of success. Evidence of success. Give it to me in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and ask for evidence. Evidence is a proof that God answered you. Evidence is a proof that God heard your cry. Evidence is a proof that God has stepped into your life. Go on and ask for that evidence. Evidence in the name of Jesus. Lord, give me that evidence. Evidence, evidence, evidence to progress. Give me the evidence, Lord. Evidence to progress. Evidence to progress. Evidence to progress. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Evidence to progress. So shall it be. I receive evidence of your blessings. Evidence of your blessings. No man shall ever curse me again. No man will ever curse me again. For I bear the mark of evidence of blessings. Evidence of open doors. I have that mark in the name of Jesus Christ. Evidence of open doors. Evidence of success. Evidence of fruitfulness. Fruitfulness in all I do. Evidence of fruitfulness. Evidence of fruitfulness, evidence of mercy, evidence of mercy, evidence of your grace. Lord, give me that evidence in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because you leave, I can't face tomorrow. My Savior lives, my Savior lives. All fear is gone. Go ahead and ask for evidence. It depends on the evidence you want. What is the thing you're asking God for? What is that evidence you need from God? 
You know the evidence you so desire from him. You know what you're looking out for. You know what you need. You really know what you need. I want you to ask him. Go ahead and ask him. Don't stop asking for that evidence. Because he lives. Because he's the king of kings. Go on and ask him to show you evidence. He's the mighty man in battle. Go on and ask him to show you that evidence. He's God all by himself. There is nothing he cannot do. What can he not do? What can he not resolve? What can he not change? What is that situation? What is that circumstances? What is that trouble that he cannot change? I know he can change it. For I know he never abandons his people. Go ahead and ask for evidence. I want you to ask for evidence. What is going on in your life? The things you need God to do for you, they are the evidence that he stepped in. They are the evidence that he didn't abandon you. They are the evidence that he showed up when you needed him. They are the evidence that he's ready to wipe your tears. Go on and ask him. Go on and ask him. What are those things that are lacking in your life? What are those things that you're missing out on? What are those things that you need him to help you? Those things you consider impossible. Those things you've looked around and it looks like no one wants to help. Go on and ask the Lord. He's the God who never forgets his own. He can't forget you. Ah, he's the God who never forgets his own. Oh, he's a God who never forgets his own. I want you to ask for evidence. This song said, he's a God who never forgets his own. He can't forget you. He does not forget his own unless you're not part of him. Unless you're not part of him. But if you did part of God, if you, if, you, if you have indeed given your life over to him and say, do with me whatever you please then he won't forget you. Then he will not forget you. He said, even if a breastfeeding mother forgets her child, I, the Lord, would not forget. He will not forget you. He cannot forget you. Go on and ask for evidence. Evidence of healing. For someone who's been sick for a long time, you've been asking him, Lord, help me. Lord, heal me. You've been asking, praying, seeking for his help, seeking for that divine healing. Go on and tell him, Lord, give me this evidence of divine healing. Because it means that you stepped in. You, it means that you answered me. When these things turn to testimony, it means that God really heard you when you called. It means that God really saved you when you needed it. He's a God who never... Forget his own. I say he's a God who never forgets his own. He's a God who will never forget his own. I say he's a God who will never, never, never forget his own. I say he's a God who will never forget his own. For indeed you will not forget me. You will not abandon me. You won't let me go down in shame. You will not forget me. For I know the God I serve. For he never forgets his own. God cannot come into your life without you noticing it. God cannot step into your situation without it being visible. Without people knowing about it. Give me this evidence. I desire for this evidence. 
I need this evidence. I want this evidence. Give me evidence of breakthrough, evidence of success, evidence of financial breakthrough, evidence, evidence, evidence of answered prayer, evidence of answered prayer, evidence of acceptance, evidence of congratulations. Give me this evidence of approval. Give me this evidence of approval. Give me this evidence of acceptance. Give me this evidence of congratulations. Give me this evidence, Lord. Give me this evidence, Lord. Give me this evidence, Lord. For in the name of Jesus, it is done. For in the name of Jesus, it is done. For in the name of Jesus, it is done. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come with me to the book of Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3. Proverbs 16 verse 3. Proverbs 16 verse 3 and it says, Ask the Lord to bless your plan. Ask the Lord to bless your plan. I don't know how many of us usually ask the Lord to bless our plan. I don't know how many of us has normalized it. Whatever you're starting, you tell the Lord, bless this plan for me. Bless this plan for me. Before ever you carry it out, before ever you announce it to the people, before ever people get to know about it, you tell the Lord, Bless this plan for me. This plan, this is what I have in mind to do. This is what I want to do with my life. But I need your blessings. I need your blessings. It's just like a son or a daughter traveling. You go to your father and tell your father, I am moving. I need you to bless me. Because parental blessings go a long way. So as God's blessings. God's blessings is the ultimate we need the blessings of the lord i want you to decree as in proverbs sixteen thirteen, ask the lord to bless your plans and it says look at what it says and it says and you will be successful in carrying it out you will be successful in carrying it out some of them some of us do not ask the lord one thing you some some of us including me most times we don't ask the Lord. One thing, oh, we've thought about it. This is what I want to do. You go ahead and carry it out. You didn't tell the Lord to bless it. You did not tell him, Lord, this is what I want to do. I need your blessings. The Bible says, if you ask the Lord to bless your plans, you will be successful in carrying it out. Good a thing, it is not too late. It is not too late to ask. I want each and every one of us, unless you don't have a plan for your life, you have a plan for your life. Even this month of April, you have a plan for this month. Even this year, 2024, you have a plan for 2024. When the year began, there are things you set in places. I said, this is what I want to achieve this year. Oh, this is what I plan to do this year. Tell the Lord to bless your plan. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and tell him, bless my plan, oh Lord. Bless my plan. Tell him, you don't need to write your plan in the comment section. But I want you as you're praying, go on and tell him to bless that plan. I want you to talk to him. Tell him this is what I planned doing. I hand it over to you. Because it is written that whatever that is given to you is a complete success. He said, when you hand it over to him, you will see how successful it becomes. Oh yes, you will be so successful in carrying it out. There will be nothing blocking your way. I want you to hand it over to God. What is that plan you want? What is that thing you're planning? Go on and tell him. Tell him about it. It says, hand your plans over to God. Yes, ask him to bless it. Ask the Lord to bless your plan. Go on 
one and tell him to bless your plan. What is your plan for this month, 2024? This year, 2024, this month of April, what is your plan? What is it you want to achieve? What is it you solely desire? You really need to achieve it. Go on and ask the Lord, bless my plan, bless my plan. This is what I want to do, but I need your blessings so that it will be successful. I need your blessings. I need your blessings. I need your blessings. Bless my plans. Let this be a total success. Bless my plans. Let this be a total success. In the name of Jesus, bless my plans. Go ahead and tell him what your plans are. Tell him to bless your plans. Tell him, tell him, tell him. As you're watching me, tell him. This is an opportunity to make it right this time around. Tell him to bless your plans. Go on and tell him your dreams. Go home and tell, tell him your visions. Tell him your visions. Tell him your dream, your dreams. Tell him what you desire. Tell him what you need. And tell him to bless you. Tell him to bless your plans. Tell him to bless your plans. By the authority in the name of Jesus. Lord, I bless my day. I bless my plans. In the name of Jesus. Lord, bless my plans. Bless my plans. May all I engaging be a total success go ahead and tell him for he's a god that never failed he's a god that never abandons his people he's a god that never disappoints go on and tell him lord bless my plans ancients of the days bless my plans bless my plans oh lord bless my plans oh lord bless it exceedingly bless it miraculously bless it powerfully in the name of jesus christ of nazareth there is nothing the Lord cannot do. There is nothing the Lord cannot do. There is nothing the Spirit of God cannot do. There is nothing, nothing the Lord cannot do. I say there is nothing, nothing the Lord cannot do at all. There is nothing, nothing the Lord cannot solve. Mm -mm. There is nothing the Spirit of God cannot do. There is nothing, oh, the Lord cannot do. I want you to carry an exercise out. And it's going to be in the Blessed Sacrament. For three days, for three days, go to the Blessed Sacrament. And do what? Tell the Lord to bless your plans. Any plan you have for the month of April. Good thing today is just the 3rd of April. Any plan you have for this month of April. Any plan you have for this year. You have these plans. Probably you planned it last year. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. All the plans you made last year, none of them worked out. Because you were planning by yourself. Because you were not working with God. Let me tell you what happens when you invite God. You know when you tell him, this is what I want to do, bless it. As he's blessing it, he removes those obstacles. Those tiny, tiny hindrances that will stop the success of that thing. He removes it. When he takes it away completely, when you now carry out that plan, the Bible said what? You become successful in carrying it out. You will become so extremely successful in carrying each of them out. Go ahead. For three days, if you don't have access to the Blessed Sacraments, on your own, for three days, make that prayer any time of the day you want. In the morning, in the afternoon, at night, any time you're comfortable praying. Just kneel down and tell him your plans. Tell him to bless your plans. For three days, tell him to bless your plans. Tell him the plans you have. Tell him what you want. Tell him to bless it. And you will be successful in carrying it out. And please, from today onwards, 
Don't do anything without asking the Lord to bless it. Because if he blesses it for you, if he blesses it, look at what happens. If that plan you have is a good one, hmm, he will help you carry it on. If it's not a good one, probably in your eyes it is a good one. But in the eyes of God, it's not a good one. What he does is he will close that door immediately and open another door. That is what happens when you invite him into your affairs. He will immediately close that door and open another one. It won't take time because you've invited him. This is why it will happen this way. If you didn't invite him, imagine it's a wrong what is a wrong move. You will be on that plan for years. It has not you have not achieved it. You will be on that plan for years. You will find out that every year you carry it over. Every year you carry it over. If you come to your prayer request for more than five years, one prayer request has been there. For more than five years, one prayer request has been there. Because you didn't hand it over to God. If there are things you're doing, even if you've started it already, go on and hand it over to him. Ask him to bless it. It's just like a child. You open the store. You didn't call your parents to bless it for you. What are you doing? I see some people, they start something. They won't even call them. Call them. There is power in their words. He's your father. God is your father. So call him to come and bless it. Call him. Tell him to bless this thing you're about to do. And as, he, as you have invited him, he removes obstacles and hindrances. Nothing at all shall challenge you. Nothing at all shall hinder you. That is when you, watch, you will start experiencing progress. You will notice that nothing will block that activity again. Nothing will block it again. Everything will be smooth because someone is involved. It's not just only you. God is now involved. And as he's involved, he won't let you hit your leg against a stone. You won't go and come back and say it didn't work. Because he's totally involved. And because he has blessed you already, you will continue to progress. And the Bible recorded, you will shall what? You shall succeed continuously. You will see that plan being very successful. You will see that plan being extremely successful. And in the name of Jesus, as we call the Lord to bless what we do, tell him to bless it. You know some people, there are people that actually know this. When they want to start up something, they ask God, will it work? Mm -mm. Go on and start. No, go on and plan. But tell him to bless it. Because he has given you power as a human being. You're going to think of what to do. When you've thought of that thing that you want to do, don't ask him, should I go or not? Go on and tell him, Lord, bless this for me. Because he was the one that gave you that idea. So what you're going to ask is what? Your blessings. If it is not good for you, he will close it and open another one. And if it is the right thing for you, as you've invited him, he will come and do good things in it. He will make it progress and he will make you prosper. And in the name of Jesus Christ, as we tell the Lord our plans today, may he indeed bless our plans. May the Lord God bless our plans. May the Lord God bless our plans. May the Lord God bless our our plans in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. So shall it be in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. I want you to tell the Lord to bless today. Lord, I call you to bless today. Let today be filled with blessings. Bless today, O oh Lord. I hand the day over to you, bless. I hand the day over to you, bless. I hand the day over to you, Bless in the name of Jesus. Bless my day, O Lord. Bless my day, O Lord. Bless my day, O Lord. With all your goodness, your mercy, bless my day. 
bless my day and progress my day let today be a very progressful day for me let today be a very blessed day for me let today be a very beautiful day for me progress my day bless my day in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen and amen so shall it be in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen and amen it is done it is sealed and it is signed in the name of jesus amen and amen god bless you in the name of jesus i pray for those who honored my live stream invitation may god bless your plans whatever plans you have for this month may god bless your plans whatever plans you have for this year may god bless your plans you will be successful in carrying them out you'll be so successful in carrying them out may god who is able to do all things bless that plan exceedingly bless that plan exceedingly bless that plan exceedingly so shall it be in the name of jesus to those who shared my videos and gave my videos a thumbs up may god bless you may god favor you may god open doors may god show you mercy may god show you mercy may god show you mercy in the name of jesus and may he uplift you may he uplift you to the next level of blessings grace and favor in the name of jesus amen to those who who gifted me your pockets will never go dry when they complain of a casting that it is not for you for you will progress starting from today your finances will progress starting from today your finances will progress. It will continuously progress. In the name of Jesus, you will continuously be progressful. In the name of Jesus, until you become extremely progressful. In the name of Jesus, you will prosper. Prosperity is yours and you will forever be prosperous. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. As we have declared, it is done. It is sealed and it is signed in the name of of jesus christ of nazareth amen god bless each and every one of you god favor each and every one of you in the name of jesus i cover our prayers in the blood of jesus the answers to our prayers in the precious blood of jesus it is done it is sealed it's a sign in the name of jesus amen and amen god bless each and every one of you god honor each and every one of you in the name of god the father son and of the holy spirit amen god bless you and God bless you, and God bless you, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you supernaturally, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. I pray for those, I pray for Mama, Mama Rose, that is 65 years, you're my mom's age. I pray for you today, by the authority in the name of Jesus. I love my mom so much, and by the power in the name of Jesus, and by the unction of grace and long life, I declare it upon you, Mama Rose. You will progress. You will live long. You will excel. You will eat the fruit of your labor. You won't go back in shame. You won't be stranded. In this life, you will never be stranded. You will never, ever be stranded. In the name of Jesus Christ, upon your children, I speak the grace of God. They will look after you as a child should look after their parents. They will love and respect you in the name of Jesus. And upon their lives, because of you, they will progress. In the name of Jesus Christ, their sins are forgiven by God and they will progress entirely. They will progress forever. They will excel forever in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak life into you. The Bible speaking in Psalm 91 verse 16 said, With long life he will satisfy you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will satisfy you with long life and show you his salvation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Happy birthday to you, Mama Rose. Happy birthday. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you supernaturally in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. 
I'm going to post the um, the prayer for the divine mercy prayer we did yesterday. In case you missed that divine mercy prayer, please click on it and say the prayers. In case you missed the divine mercy prayer. God is good. Oh, he has done me well. Oh, my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. Oh, Lord is good. Lord is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Don't forget the two. I'm actually in a hurry. I need to go. But don't forget the two prayers I said we're making today. The first one is speaking into your life. I progress. I begin to progress. Let it be the word that ever leaves your mouth. I want you to continuously write them down. I begin to progress starting from today. Speak that into your life. I begin to progress in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to speak that into your life continuously in the name of Jesus. Then the second prayer is the one you're going to do in the Blessed Sacrament or at home. If you don't have access to the blessed sacrament, so that you will not say, oh, I'm not able to do it. If you don't have access, no problem. You can do it at home. Okay? You can do it at home. Tell the Lord to bless. Ask the Lord to bless your plans. Ask him to bless your plans. You have a plan. Even if you don't have, your plans are your children. If you don't have it, let the Lord bless the plans of your children for you. Because when he blesses the plan of your children for you, they will progress, you will benefit. It is the pride of a mother or the wish of a parent, a mother, anyone, to do what? To see their children progress. To see their children stand on their own. It is their desire. And it gives them joy. So you pray for your children. If you don't want to pray for yourself, to, if you don't have the plan, but you feel your children have plans and their plans are not being realistic or they're sorry, their plans are not coming to pass. They're not succeeding in their plans. Their plans could mean anything. It could mean visa. It could mean citizenship. It is their plan. It is what they want. Let the Lord bless it for them in the name of Jesus. God bless each and every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll see you all again in the evening by 9 p.m. Nigerian time. Stay safe, be blessed in the name of Jesus. I'll see you all again in the evening. God bless you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen in the name of Jesus. Yes, the glass water I asked you to pray into is a three days prayer. So you can make, I think I've given you guys a lot of prayers. Please don't be confused, but do as much as you can. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Have a fruitful day. I need to go stay blessed, stay confident, confidence, stay confident and, re and return back with a testimony in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you and God bless you. Bye-bye.